Hey everybody, this is Jimmy Beach with Alien Skin Software. This video is a conversation with photographer Kyle Ford about removing sensor dust using exposure. If you take long exposure shots, then you know how annoying sensor dust can be. Kyle, what's your experience? Yeah, definitely sensor dust can be a problem, especially when I'm shooting my landscapes. Um, in this shot here, I've got some sensor dust that's not super noticeable now, but when you start pushing your images, it starts to creep up, and uh, you definitely don't want that when you print your images because it's really noticeable when you're standing right in front of a print. My general workflow for something like this is I'm going to temporarily push this image really far so we can see these dust sensor spots really, really easily so we can edit them out. And then I'm going to repair those areas using the spot heal tool. And then once all that's done, all the work's completed, I'm going to remove all those temporary edits where I've pushed the image. And finally, we're going to save all of our spot healing into a preset so we can apply that in batch to all of our images, saving us a ton of time. Now, generally, I create a new layer on top of the base layer just so I can remove all of these edits when I'm finished. So with the new layer, I start with a black and white so we can just see the, the sensor spots. I crank up the contrast all the way, and then we go into the highlights, bring those up a little, and bring the shadows down a little bit. And you can see they're starting to show up, and then clarity all the way. And it's gonna make your image look really bad, but that's not the point. We're just trying to find all the flaws so we can fix them. And if they're not showing up quite enough for you, you can also go down here into the tone curve panel and crank up the midtones, and there they really kind of jump out at you. Oh, I see them now. Bring the shadows down a little more, and there we can see some obvious sensor spots. So we'll jump to one-to-one -to -one so we can really get in here with the healing brush. All right, now that we're at one-to-one, -one, you can definitely see there's some sensor spots here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the healing brush tool. And it's already at the size I would like it, but if you want to change the size, you can use the bracket tool to upsize and downsize. And right now it's pretty much where I want it, so I'm going to make my selection. It'll grab a spot. Spot Perfect. here. It'll grab a new spot. Patch that. And we've got one here. And I see one more down here. And I think we'll be okay. And we'll go back to fit to see how we've done. And those sensor spots are done. They're gone. Perfect. So now we'd like to apply this to our whole image set without having to do it manually every time, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer over the top just so we can see a little bit better. So now that my spot healing's finished, let's make a preset so I can apply it to the rest of these images so I don't have to do it manually later. Click the plus sign on the presets panel and it'll open up the edit preset dialog box. We're going to name it sensor dust removal, which is already typed here conveniently. I'm going to uncheck all of these layer adjustments because just in case I've made adjustments to my image previously, I don't want to copy those over. I just want my spot heel, which is underlined because it's the only thing I've made adjustments to on the side here. Press OK. It's going to show up here under user and my presets. Now I want to select all the images I want this preset applied to. Click and it applies that preset to all the images. And now we've removed the same dust spots in all of the images from the set. So now that your preset's made, you can use this preset over and over again because pre the sensor dust is going to be in the exact same location on your sensor, no matter if your portrait, landscape, whatever. So until you get your sensor cleaned, you can just use this preset on all of your images and you'll be dust free. Thanks, Kyle, for showing us this time-saving trick. I could really see how this would be beneficial for shooting time lapses. Yeah, absolutely. In the time lapses I've done in the past, it's been very helpful. I mean, it takes 30 seconds rather than hours. So thanks for watching our video today. If you haven't used Exposure before, grab the free trial from our website.